we're getting self-starters. You know, we're getting people that are, are highly motivated and, and knowing that um, as an employer is, you know, certainly uh, again just, just puts them one step above anybody else. So knowing that they are, they're going to show up every day and they are motivated to be um, uh, in our industry and, and be supportive of our industry and want to be in our industry. That's you know that, that's a really great uh, great characteristic to have. When you think about it, it's real. It really is 21st century learning. You know, people ask me that periodically, and we say that. You know, we talk about 21st century learning. This is 21st century learning. This is learning applicable skills, and then being out, being able to take what you learn, go out and do something with them right away. That's a, that's tremendously valuable. And we have a partner with like Lord Fairfax, who's willing to. You know, work with us and provide those kinds of real skills is pretty remarkable, I think. The value a program like this brings is, again, one that really opens that door and opens the student's eyes to their potential and what their, their passion. Finding your passion for something you want to do, and not just as a job, but as a career opportunity. Because once you get started in the heavy equipment operator uh, positions, there's a lot of mo movement. A lot of opportunity to move forward and advance your career. So I think these students really took a risk. It shows their initiative and it shows that they're willing to step outside and do something that's a little different. The biggest thing to know is that you know we're always expanding roads, replacing roads, building new roads, buildings and other things. So it's a continual market that will never go away and your career can be wherever you choose to take it. The ATO graduates have taken a great first step in their training as employers. Now we get to take that and go on with on-the-job training and continue their, their growth that they've already shown that they want to take. These kids, through the interview process, we brought them in for a, a half a day tour. And you could tell each one of these kids aligned with that exceeding expectations. Not only were they finishing up high school, they were trying to better themselves. They were burning 212 degrees, and you can ask those guys what that means is that they were exceeding expectations by uh, extending their ed education on the technical side, by learning how to operate a piece of equipment, and still doing uh, high school classwork. My next step is to just put effort into my career, you know, um, try my best, uh, put burn the extra degree, like Frank said, and, you know, keep moving forward, no looking back. Um, and it's taught me to different things, different techniques of everything. We've had the opportunity to run the, um, the simulators mm -hmm. and get the feel of a piece of equipment. We try to have fun and learn at the same time. Um, if, you got, if you get the opportunity to take this class, definitely follow through and do it. I definitely think you come out of this kind of a step ahead as opposed to just coming into the company with them not really knowing if you have the skills or not. They kind of can see that you know what you're going to be getting yourself into and you know that this is the line of work that you like to do. I definitely think that helps. Whether they actually have a desire to go down this career path or other career paths that Workforce offers, I definitely think you, this gives you an opportunity to figure out this is something you want to do before you just go straight into the work and realize you don't like it. This is a very good first step and I highly recommend it.